before watching this video, I recommend you watch my video on elements and subatomic particles first. You often hear the word mole used all the time in chemistry, but what's a mole? A mole is just like any other counting unit. For example, one dozen eggs corresponds to 12 whole eggs. Well, one mole of any element corresponds to the atomic mass of that element in units of grams. Recall that the atomic mass of an element is the larger decimal number given on the periodic table. For example, one mole of carbon weighs 12.011 grams of carbon. This can be reworded as the molecular weight of carbon is 12.011 grams per mole, which is often rounded to two decimal places. So the larger number shown on the periodic table is the molecular weight for one mole of each element. Some of you have probably seen units of atomic mass units, AMU, or Daltons, DA, instead of grams per mole, but they are all equivalent. Now molecular weight gets a bit more difficult to calculate for compounds, which are just two or more different elements that are chemically combined. But first you need to know how to read chemical formulas. You always multiply subscripts and coefficients. A subscripted number only applies to the element right before it. A subscripted number written after parentheses applies to everything inside the parentheses that precedes it. A coefficient applies to the entire compound written after it. After you determine how many of each element is present within a compound, you simply just add up the atomic masses of each individual element to get the molecular weight of the entire compound. I'll do two examples. Let's calculate the molecular weight of CO2, which has one carbon and two oxygens. Carbon has a molecular weight of 12.01 grams per mole, and oxygen has a molecular weight of 16 grams per mole. So the total molecular weight of CO2 is 44.01 grams per mole. Let's calculate the molecular weight of Mg3PO42. Subscripts only apply to the element that precedes it, so there are three magnesiums. The subscript 2 applies to everything in parentheses before it, so there are two phosphoruses and two times four equals eight oxygens. The molecular weight of magnesium is 24.31 grams per mole, phosphorus is 30.97 grams per mole, and oxygen is 16 grams per mole. To calculate the compound's molecular weight, I'm going to use both multiplication and addition to make the math a bit simpler. So there are three magnesiums, two phosphoruses, and eight oxygens, the total molecular weight of magnesium phosphate is 262.87 grams per mole. For more help with chemistry, please subscribe.